Why is everyone so excited about the Galaxy S25 Ultra? As the Galaxy Unpacked 2025 event draws near, Samsung is teasing us with some incredible new features. One of the most anticipated upgrades is the enhanced AI-powered tool sketch to image. This feature is getting a major overhaul, and it's something that could change the way we create on our smartphones. Sketch to image was first introduced in the Galaxy S series, allowing users to transform simple sketches into detailed images using the S Pen or their fingers. But with the Galaxy S25 Ultra, Samsung is making this tool even better. You won't just be limited to sketching with your fingers or an S Pen. Now the tool will also support text and voice commands. This means you can describe what you want and the tool will create the image for you. For example, you could draw a basic outline of a dog, then say or type pirate costume, and just like that, your sketch turns into a detailed pirate dog. It's almost like magic, making creativity as easy as speaking your mind or typing a few words. Samsung's goal with the Galaxy S25 Ultra is to make it more than just a smartphone. It's meant to be a powerful creative companion, driven by artificial intelligence. The new sketch-to-image tool integrated into One UI 7, Samsung's latest user interface, is just the beginning. One UI 7 is Samsung's first fully integrated AI platform. It can process natural language inputs, whether you're speaking, typing, or using images. This makes the entire user experience feel more intuitive and natural. It's not just about technology for technology's sake. It's about making it easier for people to express themselves. The possibilities with the upgraded sketch to image are endless. Whether you're a professional designer looking for a quick way to bring your ideas to life or a casual user who just loves experimenting, this tool will enhance your creative process. No longer do you need to be a skilled artist to make your sketches look amazing. With just a few words, you can turn your rough drafts into polished, detailed images. Samsung has truly made it possible for anyone to unleash their creativity, no matter their skill level. Samsung is also positioning itself as a leader in the AI-driven mobile space. While other companies like Apple have slowly rolled out AI features, Samsung is moving full speed ahead. The company is making a bold statement with the Galaxy S25 Ultra, showing that it's not just catching up to its competitors, it's setting the bar for the future of smartphones. AI and machine learning aren't just buzzwords for Samsung, they're central to the future of the Galaxy S25 Ultra. But AI isn't the only thing that makes the Galaxy S25 Ultra special. As Samsung prepares to reveal more features at the Galaxy Unpacked event, we can expect even more groundbreaking advancements. With the S25 Ultra, Samsung is positioning itself at the forefront of smartphone innovation. And it's clear that the company has big plans for the future. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is not just about improving existing features. It's about rethinking what a smartphone can do. Whether it's using AI to create images or enhancing the overall user experience, Samsung is working to ensure that its devices are not only up to date with current trends, but ahead of the curve. As we get closer to the Galaxy Unpacked event on January 22, excitement is only building. Samsung is set to unveil more features that could reshape the smartphone industry. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is shaping up to be a device that will redefine what we expect from our smartphones. If you're as excited about the Galaxy S25 Ultra as we are, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for all the latest updates. We'll see you in the next one. Are you ready to be amazed by the latest innovation in smartphones? Samsung's Galaxy S25 series is here to turn heads and set new standards. As we inch closer to the highly anticipated Galaxy Unpacked event on January 22, promotional materials have already given us a sneak peek at what's to come. These images reveal the Galaxy S25, S25 Plus, and S25 Ultra in breathtaking silver and blue finishes, leaving tech enthusiasts eagerly awaiting the official launch. One of the standout models in the lineup is the blue Galaxy S25. Or could it be the S25 Plus? Either way, its sleek and vibrant design makes it a clear favorite among the early glimpses we've received. The glossy finish and elegant lines are hard to ignore, promising a device that's as stylish as it is powerful. While we only caught a limited view of the Galaxy S25 Ultra in these promo shots, what's visible is certainly enough to pique interest. The Ultra model has always been Samsung's powerhouse, and this year seems no different. The inclusion of the S Pen is a pleasant sight for fans of Samsung's stylus, though there's still some speculation about whether or not it will retain its Bluetooth functionality. Until we have official confirmation, the rumors will continue to squirrel. According to previous leaks, the color options for the Galaxy S25 Ultra are nothing short of impressive. Customers can expect to choose from titanium black, titanium gray, titanium silver blue, and titanium white silver. On the other hand, the Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus will be available in colors such as ice blue, mint navy, and silver shadow. For those looking for something a bit more exclusive, Samsung's website will offer additional color variants. 
making it even harder to choose just one. Samsung is known for its grand unveilings, and this year's Galaxy Unpacked is set to be no exception. To add to the excitement, Samsung has already opened up reservations for the Galaxy S25 series. This means you can secure your new phone before it officially hits the shelves. And if that's not incentive enough, reserving a device also enters you into a chance to win a $5,000 gift card. It's a win-win situation for those eager to be among the first to own the latest and greatest from Samsung. As we count down to the official release, one thing is clear. The Galaxy S25 series is poised to deliver a perfect blend of aesthetics and performance. Whether you're drawn to the vibrant colors, the cutting-edge features, or the promise of a powerful S Pen experience, there's something in this lineup for everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for all the latest updates. Stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video. Selling old smartphones often feels like a chore, but Samsung is making it easier for users in South Korea with their new Galaxy Easy Compensation Program. This innovative initiative allows people to sell their old Galaxy phones directly through Samsung's website without the usual requirement to purchase a new device. It's a fresh approach aimed at simplifying the process and providing a hassle-free experience for Galaxy users. The Galaxy Easy Compensation Program is set to launch on January 14, 2025, and it brings a unique twist to the typical trade-in process. Traditionally, when selling an old phone through a manufacturer or retailer, there's an expectation that you'll buy a new one. Samsung's program removes that expectation, offering users the flexibility to sell their phones without any obligation to make a new purchase. This straightforward process is designed to cater to those who want to declutter and earn money from their old devices without committing to a new phone. The process is simple. Users who wish to sell their old Galaxy phones can visit Samsung's website to check the estimated value of their device. Once they decide to proceed, they can send their phone to Samsung via courier. Upon receiving the phone, Samsung will evaluate its condition and categorize it into one of three grades. Excellent, good, or recycle. Based on this grading, users will receive compensation that corresponds to the condition of their phone. This transparent grading system ensures that sellers get a fair deal for their old devices. The program covers a wide range of Galaxy models, including the Galaxy S20 series, Galaxy S21 series, Galaxy S22 series, and the latest Galaxy S23 series. It also includes the foldable phones such as the Galaxy Z Flip 3, Z Flip 4, Z Flip 5, Galaxy Z Fold 3, Z Fold 4, and Z Fold 5. By including these popular models, Samsung ensures that a large portion of its user base can take advantage of the program. Whether you have a standard smartphone or one of Samsung's innovative foldable devices, there's a good chance you'll be eligible to participate. While the program is currently limited to smartphones, Samsung has hinted at the possibility of expanding it to include other devices in the future. This expansion could cover Galaxy Tab devices, smartwatches, and laptops, providing even more options for users looking to recycle their old tech. This broader inclusion would not only benefit users by offering a convenient way to sell various gadgets, but also contribute significantly to reducing electronic waste. Samsung's initiative is not just about convenience. It's also a step towards promoting sustainability and the circular economy. By encouraging users to recycle their old devices, Samsung aims to extend the life cycle of its products and reduce the environmental impact of electronic waste. John Ho Jin, vice president of Samsung Electronics Korea, emphasized the company's commitment to these goals, expressing confidence that the program will enhance the long-term value of Galaxy products and support environmental sustainability. Looking ahead, Samsung plans to expand the Galaxy Easy Compensation Program to other countries. While the company has not disclosed which countries will be included, this global expansion promises to bring the benefits of this program to a wider audience. For Samsung users around the world, this means more opportunities to sell their old devices conveniently and securely. Samsung's Galaxy Easy Compensation Program offers a fresh, user-friendly approach to selling old smartphones. It provides a simple, transparent process that allows users to sell their devices without the need to purchase a new one. With a focus on sustainability and customer convenience, this initiative not only benefits Galaxy users in South Korea, but also holds the promise of making a positive impact on the environment. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates. See you in the next one. Rumors about Samsung potentially removing Bluetooth connectivity from the S Pen in the upcoming Galaxy S25 Ultra have stirred up a mix of reactions. Introduced with the Galaxy Note 9, the Bluetooth-enabled S Pen allowed users to perform tasks like controlling apps remotely through air actions. For those who embrace these features, a change may seem like a step backward. Yet many Galaxy S Ultra users might not even notice the difference, raising questions about the true impact of this decision. Air Actions, for instance, enabled remote gestures for controlling select apps, 
making the S Pen a unique tool for tasks, like presenting slideshows or snapping photos from a distance. However, while these features sound impressive on paper, their real-world utility often left much to be desired. After switching from a Galaxy Note 10 to a Galaxy S22 Plus and experimenting with the Galaxy Tab S7 FE's S Pen, I rarely found these advanced features indispensable in my daily life. The excitement surrounding the S Pen's Bluetooth features often faded once users faced the practical limitations. Compatibility issues with apps and the limited scope of air actions reduced the appeal. What initially seemed like a groundbreaking innovation eventually felt more like a gimmick that failed to integrate seamlessly into everyday usage. This disconnection between potential and execution may explain why some users won't miss the removal of Bluetooth features. However, it's essential to acknowledge that not everyone shares this perspective. For those who utilize the S Pen's camera clicker functionality, the removal of Bluetooth could be a significant loss. This feature, which allowed users to capture photos remotely, proved to be one of the more practical and widely appreciated uses of the S Pen. Its simplicity and reliability made it a favorite among users who value convenience in photography. Another layer to this discussion involves the potential removal of the S Pen's gyro and accelerometer sensors. These sensors, essential for transmitting motion data, enhance the S Pen's capabilities, making it competitive with tools like Apple's Pencil Pro. If Samsung does not introduce an alternative technology like Ultra Wideband, UBLIB, to replace Bluetooth, the S Pen's ability to serve as a sophisticated drawing and writing tool could be significantly diminished. The public perception of such a change could also pose challenges for Samsung. If the rumors are accurate, removing these Bluetooth features might lead to negative publicity. Even those who do not regularly use the S Pen might view this as a regression, providing critics with another reason to question Samsung's innovation compared to its competitors, particularly Apple. To spike these concerns, there is a potential silver lining by shifting focus to the S Pen's core strengths, such as its use for drawing and writing. Samsung could revitalize its appeal. Emphasizing these foundational features might resonate with users who prioritize simplicity and reliability over more complex, less practical functionalities. A refined focus on these core aspects could position the S Pen as a more versatile tool, appealing to both creative professionals and everyday users. While the rumors suggest a potential scaling back of the S Pen's features, it's worth considering that Samsung might have a strategic plan in 